Hello and welcome. There's been a rumor that I've been building the school in Minecraft. Guys, seriously, I'm a teacher. As if I have that much spare time on my hands to build the school in Minecraft. Please. Anyway, so we're back to Let's Build Baby College. So it's been a year since I last played this game. Um, I've kept the uh, the file since and I haven't really done much with it uh, for quite a while. Uh, I did have a few helpers, although it is uh, kind of crunch time in year 12. So I'm not surprised that people can't really make it. Um, and I'm kind of doing it solo anyway, so that's not really the point. What we do have here though is a few progress updates. Um, like I said, it's been about 12 months since I last tried this. Now, in those 12 months, the school has undergone quite a few changes. So, uh, let's, let's start where I normally start. I'll go back to my office. <laughs> let's go to the top over here of the building. This is completely realistic. We go back to my office, uh, office. That's the... Oh, one thing that's changed is the room numbers. So, I've got to redo this. So, uh, this is no longer the 8th office. I'm going to rename it. Let's go back to, uh, our science. Yeah, I haven't played this game for ages. I kind of don't know what I'm doing. So, this is now the, uh, D5 office. And uh, the room inside here uh, is D5, so we'll take that down, put D5 up there. Alright, so that's D5. Now the reason being is that uh, we've had a few new portables, so if I go over top of the building over here, there's been some new portable buildings installed on uh, these sides. One was there last year, but um, there was one put earlier this year. So they've renumbered the whole D block, so that uh, it used to be uh, D1 was the drama portable which is uh well approximately where this uh, hole in the ground is so the drama portables were d1 d2 that's all right no no, no. the soccer shirt was d1 then d2 then d3 and then we had the uh portables here from d4 onwards um and i believe they've renamed it because uh because they've expanded the portables uh they've gone from d1 which is this room which used to be d4 I believe yep that's now d1 uh, the next room over here is... Oh no, the room inside is... Uh, <laughs> right, okay. So that should be D2. And this room over here is D3. No, D3. Uh, that's right, yep, D3. So then we go on this side. We'll sprint over. We'll try to anyway. Here we go. Let's we'll sprint over. And on this side we have D4. And therefore, my office is room D5. So there you go, room D5, uh, D5. The rooms haven't changed. Um, I like the uh, layout of the rooms at the moment, so uh, that's pretty cool. The baiting's going really well, by the way. Our C grade team um, did have a win in the second round, although in the third round, we uh, had to fourth because of the production, which is great. Uh, the production, by the way, happened last week. Fantastic. We haven't, we haven't had a production for years. So it was really good to see... Um, uh, so you everyone take part, lots of good dance, uh, uh, segments, some nice drama, well done guys, that was really, really cool. So, uh, we're back in my office, um, uh, my desk is as clean as always, and, um, yeah, let's have a look around. I haven't really, really done much, so, uh, you can probably imagine this is very similar to what you may have seen in the previous videos, and I'm gonna reset the time, because, uh, let's go nice daylight, and, um, let's change the room numbers of these rooms, so, uh, these, they've, they've painted these uh, wooden things, by the way. They're now maroon. Nice maroon color. Same the uh, the fences and the uh, the other wooden parts. So that I'm not going to really change it. I, mean, I could switch for a uh, a a deeper color, I guess. And uh, like this color. Oh, it is a color, right? No, I'm not going to bother with the color. Um, I could put like carpet, but, you know, it's wood. We'll keep it that way. Uh, this room is now, that was D5. This is D6. No, I'm not really familiar with these rooms, I don't go that often. Uh, that's the... I'm going to call it the D7 office, the 8 office? No, this is the 8 office. So I think, the, I think the, the, the way the school does is they name the office after the building on uh, the room on this side. That's now D8. Wait, is that right? Yeah, D7. Yeah. D... Wait. Wait, D6. <laughs> right. I, uh, what is count? What is counting? Alright, D7. That's, uh, I'm thinking of, um, my old. Because, uh, we used to be, my office used to be D8. Uh, and then we was changed to a D5 when the numbers, the numbers were swapped around. So, we're down here. And, uh, one of the additions is, um, 
at the start of the year they built this uh they wanted to improve the access to the science lab because uh as you know this particular corner is a huge bottleneck like you've got like you know stairs coming up ramps coming up just one stair down and one stair down there and this is there's like lockers over here so it's pretty crowded uh, so they've built this walkway um the reason being is to put a door on uh, this on science lab uh, by the way uh, i haven't done the science uh center just yet this is the old science 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 block um i'm pretty sure the start of the year it kind of looked like this <laughs> because they did knock down like you know these rooms they've redone the science labs uh, so there's a big upgrade and uh they've uh, by extension they've put included a second set of doors which is actually really good I, i'm really happy that they've made these doors because you had this one set of doors and then um that's the only way to get out so to get out through here so instead uh they've got this second set of doors which is usually locked from the outside but it's open from the inside so you go through these doors and now you can you can leave the uh, the science lab through this way and then there's this way as well which is really good there to facilitate this door being made they built this wooden uh, walkway so this boardwalk kind of thing so this little tiny hole here which is kind of weird but uh, otherwise it's exactly the same uh the wooden walkway uh boardwalk is here and there are stairs going down that way and that way plus this really weird um corner bump which you can't really do so uh, that's this and that's the block and uh part of the science block um I haven't actually built the science center yet. As you can see, it's still pretty much swap land. So uh, it's still only D block that's complete and uh, C block is still in construction. Now, I was kind of procrastinating on C block because C block is complex. It's a very long building. Uh, the literacy room is in here uh, and the and the ceiling is a funny shape. So I can't get good lighting in the rooms. Uh, this is this as close as it gets. So this is uh, C10, the big room, which in Minecraft isn't that big actually it's I don't know it's weird like I no, not think about it they've actually changed the whole room around oh yeah, that's been pretty awkward now because now uh, we've, we've changed the uh the layout to that it's going to be more of a uh, rectangular shape it's a very long room but uh, I didn't make it that long in this um yeah in this I don't remember why I did this coordinators are actually ah I might be why because the coordinators is not this wide so I might have put extra blocks from the um from the c10 room to the coordinator so this is unusually long and this is unusually narrow it's a pretty big room actually so i'm a bit surprised that i did it this way uh but that's i think so i can't change the building now guys i built half the build half the school already so i don't want to change anything um that's c10 uh the corner c9 which is a small room next to the coordinators the secret room which is a little wider than i thought it would be but uh just making it work over here we've got uh, another storage room this is the activities room where the uh the sports equipment's held then the ceramics room which actually is the right size approximately as you know uh, minecraft is very blocky so you don't normally get uh, what am i jumping on table <laughs> I'm gonna teach you, am I? Um, yeah, the, the ceramics room looks a bit bigger than usual, but it's okay. It's not bad. It looks about the right size indoors. So I might fix up C10. I might uh, change the walls and bring it across a bit. Um, in here we've got the oops, oops. What did I do there? Uh, didn't do that. Uh, that's the uh, the storage room for the uh, ceramics. And over here we've got the uh, C7 uh, drama room, which is nice and black. There, that's looking, that's looking pretty good. I'm not sure why i put that there to be honest huh were there girders or something or did, did somebody else put it here that doesn't look right to me because i know there are the, the cage put spotlights and uh, you know, i don't remember putting this either <laughs> uh well maybe i have been it's been a long time i don't think these look about right but then there are kind of you know forget about it forget about it that's just, that's the drum room I'll, I'll i'll fix up things a bit, little bit later and i stopped building the, the school here because i couldn't quite remember what it looked like from here on so there was c um this is c6 and c6 is a normal classroom it's normally used for maths and a lot, a lot of the uh, the vc classes are in here so i kind of put together this kind of generic room i'm not sure if this looks quite like this but uh i think it's pretty close you have the teacher's desk up front and a couple i think three rows down here you know then a photo to work by and um that's all i've worked on and there's the maths office in here and i think i've left enough room for the tables and chairs and stuff so this should be enough there's the maths office and just checking my school diary oh well somebody else's school diary there's three more rooms so there's c5 c4 and c3 so 
that should actually fit these areas because these rooms are very narrow. They're just um, it's just like a whiteboard, and I put my diary away. There's like a whiteboard and two rows of uh, desks, and there's a small room in the back somewhere. I think this one, it wasn't. There's, I think C three has a small room in the back, but C four and C five don't, and it's just um, very narrow rooms. And I think that should fit the building. I think we've gone a pretty close scale as far as Minecraft is concerned. Now, uh, since I did build C six. I therefore have a reference point for the rest of the school, which is kind of weird because one of the um, things I didn't build was this. Oh man, I, I spent today like Mrs. Even doing this. This is looking really good. This is the walkway. This is the uh, the, the walkway connecting the B block to C block. So uh, for those who haven't been to school for the last you know five years, uh, this used to be just a plain uh, breezeway with just a middle roof and uh, you know still supports. But uh, as part of the uh, refurbishment of the school, we did include this uh, sheltered walkway. So uh, it's looking pretty good, I, I think. This is um, one of the uh, iconic angles of the school. Like if you take a photo or we hang out here at recess or lunch. This is one of the most recognized places. We've got the, uh, the, the light blue colored wall. Uh, I know the, uh, the torch here looks pretty funny, but I'm pretty sure there are spotlights on the outside. So uh, they do light up. Uh, and there's a small window on this side, so um, I've managed to reconstruct the uh, walkway. I think it looks as close as you can get, and I think as far as Minecraft portions go, it's, it's I think it's pretty close. Um, it's not as narrow as this in real life. By the way, there are four of these uh, glass strips, but uh, being Minecraft, if I put four, it's gonna look pretty weird because it'd be way too long. Uh, I think I think this is again, I don't calculate the uh, proportions, but this looks about right considering again my focus is on the inside of the room, so it looks about right on the inside. So the outside looks a bit weird because all the blocks are you know are blocks and not like thin walls and stuff. But uh, this is pretty good. So uh, normally there are like lockers on either side, and uh, I don't I don't think I'll put lockers. Just because it's gonna make the thing run now. Like for example, if I get the what's the, the, the block, if I get this block here, and start throwing down like uh you know quote unquote lockers, I mean it's gonna look really really narrow. And I don't think um it, look, it looks like that. And I don't think uh it's that narrow. It, I mean even this this is kind of narrow by itself. So. While they are, there are lockers along the walls, I think I'll leave them out just for the sake of having this nice breezeway because they don't need to be there, just a temporary storage because, hang on, no, I think they removed the lockers because uh, they moved the lockers to the outside, uh, they, they, they were building the um, this sheltered locker base over there, so it seems about right. Uh, yeah, so look at the outside, as you can see, it's looking pretty good, um, there are a few things that need to include, like pot plants and uh, I keep forgetting which place the principal's office. The principal's office, I believe, is... Can you walk through here? The general office... That is the map again. I get a bit confused because of where, where I'm going. Alright, the general office is on the right-hand side to walk in. So, if you... Well, okay. If you walk in through here... Uh, walk in, not fly in. If you walk in, the science rooms are on the left side. And the general office on the right side. So on this side, there's a wall, there's the photos of the uh, the uh, top achievers, and there's the uh, the, the office over here, which would pretty, pretty, be pretty interesting to, uh, to build. I am uh, looking forward to that, kind of. It's a pretty complex building. Um, the walkway doesn't have these glowstone blocks because, um, look, it's not, I don't think, actually, I'm, I'm right. I think there is light on the inside. I never really noticed that, but uh, yeah, I put these here because it looks pretty dark otherwise. Um, I'm losing light, yeah, it is kind of sunset, so let's reset the time again, time set zero. And uh, yeah, so the big uh, plus in this update is, well, I've built the walkway, which means I've built the first part of B block. This is the B block wall, and B block is the heart of the school. This one crossroads where the uh, the walkway meets the B block corridor is the central point in the school, at least to me anyway. Um, so the fact that I've got this opening now means I can build the entirety of the school. That is pretty sick i think that is awesome right i mean uh the fact that i built c block and d block is kind of feat in itself but uh now we've actually started b block and this is where most of the the buildings the rooms are so uh, 
Did I just misalign it? <laughs> I think I just misaligned the wall. I'm not sure what the walls are like, and I, I mean, never really mentioned this, so I might have uh, put it off by one. I might have to uh, realign that later on, so... Um, I guess, uh, and the other thing too is, uh, I'll put the benches here. There are, I think, seven benches. Um, these are, in real life, set on diagonals, but... This is Minecraft, guys. What's a diagonal? So I've put these uh, in a rough arrangement, so it's they're roughly where they should be at, except that um, they're not diagonal. Um, there are a couple of things which I am going to put in. Um, there, there are some terracotta um, pots with small trees in them, and I'll, I think there's one. Oops, there's one here. There's one over here, I believe, just to decorate. I think there's one over here somewhere. Was it over here? I can actually don't remember where it was. Uh, I might put it uh, here instead. Uh, I think it might be closer than this side. I'm not too sure. I'll, I'll put one here. I will remember this one. I think there might be more. Just I don't have a photo of a current um of a current uh, setup. So this looks should be okay. And for the tree, I can't plant any um uh, saplings on these uh, clay blocks. So my tree, quote unquote, get this right. It'd be this, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what it looks like right now. So uh. Yeah, <laughs> just go with it, guys. Just, just go with it. Uh, this tree's a bit smaller, so we'll put it there. And um, there was the other one over here, I guess. So put a, a tree over here, uh, a little, a little tiny tree. It's <laughs> uh, that's um, that's a bit tall. Maybe just hop down a bit, and we'll try to go through there. We go. That's our, uh, that's our, a little potted tree. There we go. That's a potted tree. That's not bad. That's not bad. So uh, that's the outside of the um, the B block and C block wings. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, now let's just turn the, uh, uh, the HUD off, and that's looking pretty well. So I think you know if you approach this from the the car park area, you know you walk to school. Uh, so you walk this way. It should look about right. So you walk in, and if what you can go up the uh, the C block to your lockers. There's the other uh, walkway there. So you're going to the walkway. Let's run. There are locks on this side. I hope the lock is in just yet, but we'll be doing that one side. I just feel motivated to uh, do the outsides for now, so I'll leave it for now. There is this open space. There's a staircase. I know the one on this side is slightly larger than the one on this side. Uh, and then the ramps on the other side, so you can put the uh, laptop trolleys up and down. So there are the ramps there. On this side, there are a few. There's the, the sheltered uh, locker, the year 8 lockers, I believe. Uh, and the, the year 7 and year 8 lockers are on this side. Uh, there are a few trees and benches, some more benches. So there's plenty of stuff to put in, but I'm glad we have some scope. So I have to uh, lay the, sorry, the, the concrete foundation, the stone foundation for the yard. This side's kind of done. Uh, so I need to put the walls up. There is um, a staircase up here that goes to the office. So you go up here, there's a staircase. So... Now, come to think about it, there's a lot of things to build in the school. Because, uh, look, I feel that that's two buildings. Um, and that's C block. B block is a lot bigger. And that means I'm probably going to stretch. It's actually not that not that long. There's only a few more. Actually, that's actually quite long. So I have to uh, deal with this terrain. I really kind of regret not using a flatland um, seed. So uh, anyway, that, that should be pretty fun. I'll just take some time. There's a cavern here, which is kind of not very book like But... Uh, We'll fix it up, and the rest of the school is still built on water, so uh, let's go take a bit of time to uh, patch up. But that's the update. Um, uh, I'm really happy that I've built this one walkway because I can now build the rest of the school. It's kind of funny, but this is the heart of the school. Uh, I'm not sure how the timeline will be. Uh, I've greatly underestimated how hard this would be. Uh, this might take more than a few months, and I don't really have time to uh, build as much as I would like. But uh, I think that's looking pretty good so far. So uh, stay tuned, guys, for more Let's Build Braver College. Uh, if you want to help out, I did require some uh, photos of the school. That actually does help a lot. Um, uh, I've been collecting photos on my Let's Build Braver College uh, group at the moment. Uh, I might keep it open. I might put a link there. So if you want to join the group, I might put a link to the bottom below. Otherwise, it's top secret. Um, but I uh, hope you enjoyed the update, guys. And uh, hopefully, we'll get to, to some more building. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.